You can get hold of the MuseScore software by coming to this website, musescore.org, and hopefully you'll see a big green button that's sitting here asking you to download the software for your particular type of computer. So I'm using a Mac here, and so it's asking me to download the Mac version of the software. If you're on a PC, you'll probably see a PC download. I forgot to mention in the previous video, there is a Linux package as well for MuseScore, so Linux people can have a go at MuseScore as well. If the thing that appears here isn't the right thing, you can click on this link underneath and see all of the available versions of MuseScore that might suit your computer if perhaps it's a little bit older. So if you're on an earlier version of Mac OS X, for example, you could get hold of an earlier version of the software there. But most people will just need to click this green button to get the download process started. After you've clicked the green button, you'll come to this page, which will attempt to download the software for you. I'm on a Mac, so I get this kind of window appearing. If you're on a PC, you'll see something slightly different, but you just follow the instructions on screen to get the software installed. While you're here, you might choose to enter your email address into this box here, which will help uh, MuseScore stay in touch with you, tell you new stuff that might be available if they've updated their software at all. That's totally up to you. Don't need to do that to get hold of the software. Once the software has finished downloading, you'll get this window here. All you need to do is drag the MuseScore icon into your applications folder and the software will be installed. It doesn't take very long, so just here about five seconds to get all the files we need for MuseScore over into our applications folder. Once that's done, all we need to do to open MuseScore is to visit our applications folder. Here we go, and somewhere in our list of applications we should have MuseScore. So double clicking on the MuseScore icon will bring us into the software for the first time. If you're on a PC, you just need to run the installer that came from the MuseScore website when you downloaded it, and you'll be able to open the software too. So once you open the software for the first time, you should see this Start Center window appear. If you've got this far, then you've got the software installed and you're ready to go.